Alright, before we begin with this session right now, I have to clarify a couple of things before we start like moving into the rank session. There is a problem with my controller right now, and it's going to start messing me up in the game 100%. It's going to happen. I'm not even joking. And the issue that it has is that whenever I am applying some pressure on the D-pad, let's say if I'm pressing back or forward or down or up, it would have the tendency to add extra inputs. And I'm not talking about fat fingering the D-pad. I'm talking about that if I apply a bit too much pressure on the D-pad, on my controller specifically, and I, let's say, mush the D-pad, let's say if I'm mushing the back D-pad, right, like this, like I'm applying a little bit of pressure, not too much. But if I start jiggling around the back D-pad, this is what happens. You see? And this happens with all of the directions of the D-pad. So if I press down and I apply a little bit of pressure and then I start jiggling the D-pad by accident, let's say in the match, this may happen. So what this means is that in an actual game, whenever you see me screaming and getting upset, getting angry that I'm not doing what I was supposed to do or I'm not doing that or whatever, right? That's the controller's fault. The controller is the one messing me up. I'm not the one making the miss inputs or am, am I fat fingering. I can tell when I'm fat fingering something or if I've actually was too late in an input. I would call it out. Usually I would call it out that it was my fault, not the controller's fault, not the game's fault. In this case, since now that I figured out that it's my controller that's been messing me up every single time since, let's say, several weeks now, I have to at least tell you guys that in this session, there's going to be some misinputs coming along. So if you hear me screaming, I apologize, but it's going to happen. So with that out of the way, let's start the session. Okay, I hope that it doesn't start messing me up now, so let's hope that... It did right there, it just messed me up, but... There we go. Okay. Ooh. I didn't think that I can actually whip punch that with down forward too. I I went for it. Nice. But that did so much damage. There we go. Nice, he punished that, he would punish. Oh, that was the low version. That would have been. Uh, I whipped the back two on Kencho stance. Oh, he went for a homing move. That's unfortunate. Fortunate, unfortunate. There we go. I'm going to assume that he's not going to wait for it. There we go. Got him. There we go. Round four. Fight. Okay. Gonna get the wall here. Oki. There we go. Perfect though. Like stuff like that needs to like be worked on. Nice back four. Could have actually punished me right there. It must be easy to set. There we go. I'm gonna go for the guard break setup. He knew the setup. Okay, I don't know what he's doing there. That could have worked. 
That could have worked. I don't know why it just messed up. And that track. God forbid that the developers actually find out what's the problem with this game. Oh, is that a setup into that? That was pretty cool, actually. Okay, you went for it. Nope. Mm, is that like a two break? My down forward. Nice. Oh, that gives him that. I forget. That's uh dead right there. Okay, wh what is he doing? He could have actually taken me down right there. Nice. Nice. Okay, I could have sworn they he's gonna do that, but I just delayed it. Because I'm just that much of a pussy. Dude, Hawaii, the frick? That's so fast. Try to low parry it, but I can't when I'm getting up like that. Mmm. A little too slow on my end. Try to get side step one. Nope. Okay. Try to see if I can catch him right there. Oh what? I'm hold yeah, I did it it did it right there. It missed input. I was holding back and I jiggled the D-pad and it made me not block. So it's stuff like that in the game where the controller would just mess me up regardless of what I do. And it's really triggering. And I'm trying not to get triggered here. Nice. Oh shit. Kinda wish they... Man. Oh shit. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. I should've went for a hop kick. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't sure I was gonna do another one. That's not what I did right there. It, the inputs did not do what I wanted. Another fault of the controller right there. We'll see whether or not if I'm right. There we go. I'm going to risk it. I did it. Man, that's how much damage I did from the. That's weird. Round four. Fight. That's a lot of setups that I didn't see before. Kinda wish that they fixed that. Oh, I'll try to do it. I was gonna go for a wolf standing 2 1, but I wasn't gonna risk it, so I just went for that instead. I gotta be very careful against. Nice. Nice. Nah, I hate that hop kick whiffs a lot. Nice.
I know when I fuck up the combo. Oh man, I'm I'm super slow at getting. That was clean. Oh wow, the second hit whipped completely. Nice. Nope. Okay, he respected it. He respected it. Oh, he gets that. I forget. Nice. Nice. He's dead. Okay, I got two rounds in, but he may immediately take this all back. He may immediately take this all back, so I need to lock in. There we go. Since he already respected me, I'm going to assume... Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to respect me, but he didn't. He said, fuck my respect. Nice. Okay. I'm... Good games. He actually would have had me right there. Uh, this is the thing when you're in heat state with Yoshimitsu. And you're trying to do a get off me button, like to a panic button with flash. When you're in heat state, your flash turns into an 8 frame move. So right there, I got hit by his 1-1. I easily could have lost the game if he went for a mid instead of going for another hide to jab me out. Forget that he has that. Mm, forget that he can do dark turn stance with me. Wow, that ended up working. A little bit laggy though. His rollback in two frames. Kind of hard to tell what he's gonna be doing. He has a different pair you can use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to be careful. They, they know that I can do that. Mm, I'm not gonna go for a low. I'm not very familiar with ravens. Ravens are so elusive. That's unfortunate. I hop kick his hop kick is so bad. It's so so bad. So so bad.
If only Yoshimitsu has stuff like that that Raven had, like really actually elusive things. But he doesn't have anything like that, so I have to risk really risk my my ass trying to do something crazy that's not gonna work. Alright, you got me good there. And to be honest, laving against Raven is hard. I don't know how to lab him to properly get what I need to look out for. I need somebody to train with me just so I can then see exactly what I can do to then get a grasp on against fighting against Ravens. I tried to press back, but I guess that uh, was too late. Oh, he has a power crush from there. Gotta be careful. Again, try to go for a hop kick so I can then see whether or not he's gonna go for a a high or a low. But because of his back turn shenanigans that he can do. Get the wall. Round two. Fight. Nice. I always think that I think Raven is the one character that may be very difficult to actually flash. Ooh, we might get a cool combo here. Mm, I thought I stepped it. I guess I didn't. Is it steppable to... I think it's to the left. Unfortunate. Okay, I thought that was minus 14, but it wasn't. I need to get off. Okay. Hmm, unfortunate. Ah, uh, see, I should have just waited. Should have just waited there, actually. I see a lot of players, whenever they're in, like, in a situation where they want to get off, They'll use their... Nice. There we go. To use their heat burst.
Oh, I'm not in my heat state. That's why it didn't work when I did that. Nice games. I can't believe I saw that low coming, to be honest. I, I think I mostly just predicted they're going to go for a low there. So I was trying to do a flash duck to stop him. But as soon as I saw that he was still whole crouch, I knew that he was going to try to go for a low. Actually, no, I couldn't, I couldn't really say that I knew. But it's almost like I had an instinct that was telling me he's going to go for a low. Duck now or you're going to get hit. Definitely a god of destruction player. How does that hit me? Okay, that, again, the walls. The walls can really mess you up. I sometimes kind of wish that they, they didn't make it so Samurai Cutter would. Okay, he didn't want to <laughs> rematch me. Dop is going to be doing your laundry. I'm going to be cleaning your socks today. He was very patient. It's almost unreal how this guy just decided, oh yeah, let me just block you. He, I think you know what he was doing? Oh shit. Okay. Ah, uh, of course the flash hits him, but I still get hit by his initial move. are really hard to really fight against. I, I don't know what they're doing. It's very difficult to tell what they're doing. Harangs love to use back three when they think you're gonna do something.
this is what I mean exactly when I'm pissing against harangues, is that they, they always seem to be safe. Always safe when they're attacking you. Yeah. And I have... Do you, you think Harang has very little range? See, uh, this, there's no way I can react to all that. I'm not an old man. You just, you just can't tell me that I, I gotta have like laser-focused eyes to react to all what he just did to me. If I'm not the one in the offensive... Can I get up? A move that has... Can you please make it so that that move actually hits? Oh my god. So annoying. My... Good games. One more round and it's over. I'm telling you, with harangues, it's so hard for me to actually to see what they're gonna be doing to me. Please hit. They hit. How the? F okay, we saved it. And that was not a high, of course it's not a high. He wasn't in the middle of the air, that's why it probably didn't work. He knew I was going to do something like that. Okay, somehow I made it back. You probably will. Got me good here. Like that kick right there, you, you just can't tell me that you can see that coming up. Because he could have gone for a low. And I still would probably want to been hit by that. Got me good. That's a big launch.
can't step it sometimes. Dead here. Nope. Good games. It's impossible to fight against a harangue, in my opinion. I just don't know how to fight them. They're always plus on certain strings, and I just don't know when it's my turn. And the thing is, you can try libbing harangue, it's just that I don't know how to properly use him to then figure out how to lab him properly. He's another character too that I just don't know what to do. Like what what kind of like situation that I can prepare myself in to then learn the matchup properly. Because that entire matchup right there was just like me having to constantly block. That's a low? It didn't look like a low to me. That's a plus. That would have worked, actually. Oh my god. Going for a okay. I try to go for 2 2, but I think this was too slow. Now that I know he's gonna look out for the unblockables. Ah, snap. I hate that that move whips. There are times that it has phantom range and other times that it doesn't. He gets the wall? Unbelievable. Unbelievable how I got that parry. That's on okay. That's not what I did. That's when I go for. I hate how that just doesn't work, dude. That, that's two times that it happens in the same round that my move just whips. Right when I get the head off of the opponent. He's always safe, it seems. I have so many lows that I gotta worry about. Yeah, I thought I can get him with the side step one. 
He gets caught by that, but nothing else. Oh, ho, ho. That's not what I did either, bro. I'm trying to wait it out a little bit. It's so hard to really get Yoshimitsu to work in every situation. No, no, no! Yes. I need to be very careful. No. Well, the games. Nope. There we go. I, I I almost decided to just like leave it up to fate. If I lost, I lost. But I'm glad that I won that. Did I get hit by that? My grab didn't go through, of course it doesn't go through. I didn't break the grab? Oh, I thought I can get him there, I guess not. I love to do that. Damn it. 
thank me and thank to whatever guardian angel that I have behind me. Oh my goodness, guys. I finally got Tekken Emperor. Okay, this is the last game. Win or lose, doesn't really matter. I got what I wanted. I can play a little bit more loose. I'm gonna go for CD2. No one's gonna do that. Nice. That almost hit me. He knows. That breaks it. Oh, okay, I thought I'm gonna charge it again. If he charge it, I can back three or back four away to get away. Good games, good games. So guys, I finally managed to hit Tekken Emperor. You don't have any idea how hard it was to get a Tekken Emperor. Yes, it's only been a couple of days since I managed to hit Tekken Emperor, but I'm glad that I did. I knew I had the capacity to reach Tekken Emperor. Just that it was so difficult to reach Tekken Emperor because of the amount of unlucky interactions that I've come across in the game including the fact that my controller is kind of busted right now so I need to invest into I won't invest into another controller but I am thinking of modding my controller on the d-pad it's you know the d-pads for the controllers they are interconnected they're not actually separated so even though they look separated they're not separated when you open up the controller so I want to buy some modded d-pads that don't have them interconnected so they're separated just like just like how the buttons are on the right side i want them to be like that so that way i don't have moments in the game where like i showed in the beginning of the video where if i hold the d-pad a certain way or if i apply too much pressure and i start like mushing the d-pad i might get an incorrect input so either way i am very happy that i, I reached second emperor do not Tell me to reach Tekken God. I am not planning to hit Tekken God just yet with, with Yoshimitsu, nor am, am I very confident that I can reach Tekken God with Yoshimitsu because it's already hard, hard enough as it is. So I feel like I want to switch to another main character, like an actual character that I like more than Yoshimitsu at this point. And I know a lot of you are going to not like this, 
the some of you that are here for me like i know a few of you already have come to my twitch channel i have, have a twitch channel so same way kind of different i will place it onto the description it's already there so you can click on the link whenever i do end up going on twitch if you want to be notified when i do go on twitch i have a discord channel so you can go to my discord channel and from there that you'll be notified during the announcement channel when i'll be up on twitch so yeah that shameless plug out of the way i'm then going to explain i am not confident enough to then start hitting the tekken god yet with yoshimitsu i want to play other characters and i know you guys don't want to see me play other characters because the majority of you are only really here for yoshimitsu you're not really here for me you're really here for yoshimitsu let's just call it how it is i know some of you only here are only here for yoshimitsu and that's completely fine like i don't know if there's a lot of other yoshimitsu players out there that make videos there probably are but you you know you're coming to me and that is quite flattering that you that you would think that i am a good enough yoshimitsu player to watch i don't want my identity to be solely on yoshimitsu right if i'm going to be playing tekken a for a a period of time at least at this year until you know another game comes out that will that pique my interest more so than tekken 8 i want to play other characters and i would like you guys to see those characters too like to view my videos on those characters as well but i know that that's not how it works especially when it comes to fighting games players want to see specific characters that they want to watch they don't want to watch a character that, that they don't like or they are even pursuing it for those that are here that are watching me solely on me my, uh me as the person not the characters that are placed in the video i thank you you know who you are and again thank you again for being there supporting me giving me you know your cheers and so on and so forth you know you're my cheerleaders i i, I basically at this point <laughs> but yeah but that doesn't mean that the ones that are here only for yoshimitsu content that i don't care for your support i'm glad that you're here to see my content that doesn't mean that yoshimitsu is gonna be completely forgotten i'm not gonna stop playing him i still love the character i still like to play the character but i want to play other characters as well just like how any other like any other like influencer tekken person out there right like brawl pro or let's say the main man or even i musician he plays multiple characters he doesn't solely fixate on yoshimitsu but that's his identity that he he plays yoshimitsu main man is a kazuya main but he does play other characters like devil Jin, Jin, and so forth right he has a plethora of different characters that he likes to play with but he mainly mains the main man and that is kazuya brawl pro is a king main but of course he also plays a different type of character he also doesn't play just grappling characters he also plays paul he plays kuma right and you guys love to see him for him not just for braun um, for king i like watching him for him i don't like i don't care if he plays any other character he can play any other character that he wants to play and i'll be watching him for him same thing with the main man i like watching his takes and watching what he is trying to provide for the community and just in general the entertainment that he that he you know brings to the table with his gameplay i like watching it i don't i'm not solely watching him because he's playing kazuya i'm watching him because i'm watching him as a creator that will hurt me in the long term in a way as it may just lose out on the tekken 8 you know audience that sub to me and view me for my tekken 8 content especially if it's on yoshimitsu they may just end up leaving and that's completely fine you know if you want to leave it's fine that there's no i'm not going to hold it against you because again you're just an audience I'm here to entertain you. You don't have to watch me if you don't want to. But if you're here to support me, then, you know, maybe there's other content that you'd like to see besides just simply playing the same character that I'm now talking about. Or maybe you want to like to see other games that I want to play in the future, right? So, again, I'm just letting that out there right, that right now. I'm going to be putting down Yoshimitsu for a while, not too long, just for a bit, and play other characters that I want to move on to and enjoy. For example, Victor. I mentioned before that I wanted to primarily main Victor on my last take on reaching Tekken King. And I didn't do it yet because I was waiting for the patch and they finally arrived. Victor now is a little bit more tolerable than he was before. He doesn't seem like this unga boonga mess of a character. He's still strong, super strong still, and easy to play with. But he's not that Oonga Boonga character anymore, not as much as he was before. So, with that in mind, I'm going to be picking him up now. I am planning to do some Elden Ring content very soon once the DLC comes up. It's like what? We are like, it's 1am right now where I am at, and it's the 17th. 
so it's coming out on the 20th so like what three days that's gonna be out so i'm going to be doing some elden ring expansion content i'll probably even do it on twitch as well so if you guys want to see some elden ring dlc come up so i will be playing that and i'm very likely gonna do some pvp content on elden rings expansion on my channel as well so i'll be mixing in some tech and a content on the side mostly tech and a content and then a little bit of elden ring pvp side content you know for the sake of you guys want to watch that and yeah that's what i'm gonna do just, just to keep me a little bit afloat i don't want to feel burned out playing just simply tekken so if i can get it to play some other games on the, on the side and if you guys want to watch that then yeah i'm happy for that then and who knows if elder ring content is you know bussing then people may want to watch that too and i'll do half and half el tekken a content and elder ring content so yeah that's about it that's what i'm gonna be doing for the foreseeable future i am i'm making it sound like i'm doing something really big but it's not really all that big but i'm just giving you the heads up to how i'm currently feeling with tekken 8 i do like the game but i want to play other characters but i know that you guys want to see mostly yoshimitsu so i'm gonna have to bring him down a little bit because i don't want to continue playing him all that all that much so if you care about what i'm bringing out to the table besides yoshimitsu come and hang out and if I, and if not then you know it's fine hopefully you have a good day you'll find somebody else that you m may enjoy watching more than me for the meantime at least until i come back and start playing yoshimitsu to just try and see if i can get to tekken <laughs> tekken god if that's possible so with that out of the way thank you guys for being here thank you for watching again i do have a twitch channel it's under the description on the video i do have a discord as well and subscribe and see more of my shit like the video, share it with your friends, and stay safe, stay tuned.